Here are the lineups they employ. Still no Yakamakis in the 11, but available tonight as a sub, watching Daniel Rio start up top. The interesting change is at striker. Corey Baird returns to the starting 11 to their first and only MLS Cup championship. It is a gorgeous night in Atlanta. The roof is open for the first time this season and we're underway at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Giving insight about the Atlanta players that were a number of these were his teammate last season. Lucho Acosta on the ball, which is what Cincinnati wants as much as possible. Tripped up towards the top of the 18. The referee Villarreal lets that go. Cincinnati stays with it. Shot from distance sends Guzan diving, but it is off frame. I think what we've already seen from Cincinnati side of things. It is Tiago Almada on the first corner of the evening. Cincinnati has not conceded on a set piece this year. This ball whipped into the 18, brought down. William Ba sends that wide of goal, and it is a goal kick. Yedlin tonight in his seventh appearance for Cincinnati since the trade from Inter Miami. Plays this ball in, and the shot goes wide. Gorgeous opportunity. That's Corey Baird, who just missed. When you're a defender and you have him in front of you, it enables you to hold your position really, really well. You don't get dragged out, and he does it so well. DeAndre Yedlin wins it a second time. Gives here. Yuya Kubo gives it a go. And there's Cincinnati's leading goal scorer this year, who sends one over the bar. Yeah. He has scored in back-to-back -back games for the Cincinnati side. He's already matched his career best with three goals on the season. Lobjanidze the other way. Plays this out wide. This is Mosqueda to launch this in. Loose ball in front. Big save by Can denying Lobjanidze at the doorstep. It's deflected out for an Atlanta quarter. Likely going to the Olympic Games with the United States this summer. Meanwhile, Buka for Cincinnati. Lays this off. Orellano rang it off the post. Visit MLSPick'em.com to sign up and get your picks in. Atlanta going long over the top. This is Mosqueda with the flag down, and the shot would not go. They're going to rule this goal kick. He's arguing for a corner. Yeah, it's Pushed by Haglund, he's called for the foul, the quick restart, and here comes Atlanta. Three into the attack. This is Mosqueda! Plays it ahead. Can got a piece of it. Oh, what a terrific block on the ensuing chance. And the defensive play made by Robinson to snuff out that opportunity. Links with Almada. Muyamba. Played across, Lobjanice to get on this in the 18. Tracking back, and the shot save made by Alec Can. Sleesh able to whip this ball, and Almada, and the stop made by Can. Terrific opportunity for Atlanta United. Back the other way. Switch to the right, chested down. DeAndre Yedlin able to play this ball in. Here's Kubo looking for a lane. Atlanta providing none. Yedlin again, able to work this across to the far post. They hit the post on Guzan for a second time, and it's out for another corner. Yes, you can shake your head, but you're getting closer. He keeps getting in the right place, and he gets up so well and glances it towards that far post. And all Guzan can do is just watch and hope that the post comes to his rescue, and it does exactly that. And his confidence will be growing, all those an another opportunity to hit the post. He's getting closer. Off the ensuing corner, that's defended away. Rios, and this is Wobodo, puts that on frame, and the save is made by Brad Guzan. Almada fends off the challenge by Wobodo. This is Mosqueda. Jay Fortune, Shande Silva set to come on as well with Yakamakis in a moment, not before Almada gives it a go, fires and scores! His first from the run of play in 2024, Atlanta United on the board, and the Benz is blasting with excitement. He's happy to start deep here. He's happy to start deep, and all of a sudden, he sees that Wiley's made the run. It's a great run from Wiley because he takes Wobodo with him. That then leaves the space for Almada to say, thank you very much, I'll put it into the bottom corner. But you talk about unselfish runs from players, teammates, and that is an incredible one from Wiley, which drove Wobodo out of the position. 
Almada took the short option, didn't have enough on it. Here comes Cincinnati the other way. Three into the attack. They've got Acosta on the ball. Has two making a run. Plays this ahead. Opportunity tie game! Corey Baird! It was building all night. We are level in the 62nd minute. And a tremendous weight off the shoulders of the first year Cincinnati striker. And a lot of the air has been taken out of this beautiful stadium in Georgia. He knows that Oriano is going to be onside because it's Sleesh that's playing him onside. And he releases the ball at the perfect time. Lennon can't make a challenge. Then it's all about Oriano. Murphy. Robinson. Yedlin again goes over the top into the box. Lucho Acosta with the terrific finish. And in a flash, it's FC Cincinnati on top for the first time tonight. Yedlin. The ball that he plays in, though, no. it definitely looks as though it's onside there. It's Hernandez playing both bad and Acosta on. And the one thing we've said all evening is what Cincinnati have done really well. They've got themselves into good goal-scoring positions. Once again, it's Acosta. He is the main man, but Baird isn't far behind us in terms of the movement. The ball. Atlanta trying to avoid its first home defeat. Lennon and Can reached up to parry that away. Wolf. Wiley rolls one into the waiting arms of Alec Can. Just enough pressure on Wiley from Powell. And this might do it for what would be a big road victory for Cincinnati tonight. It would be an incredible win. And full time has been called.